Okay, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You join me here. It is uh, Wednesday, year 10. That we were the what, the how, for whom. And then the second thing we're going to do is so this is a double lesson for viewers at home. Um, that during the second lesson, we are going to be considering. Uh, outstanding practice, we call it in the uh, sort of in the teaching game, we call it exemplar. Practice. So I'm going to be sharing with you some exemplar scripts and preparing you to answer an extended answer question because we're now almost in section sort of unit two. So we're done with multiple choice questions, we've done quite a lot. So in economics, not only do you need to be numerate but you do also need to be able to write well and so I'm going to show you a kind of a template you through templates in order to uh, write extended answer questions okay so having established that ladies and gentlemen with regard to homework for the week a couple of things that we need to be doing as a, as a kind of ongoing thing and I really want to maybe now to just say one or two things about feedback if I may you'll know in college, and if you don't know, then prick your ears up because this will be news to you. In the past, we, teachers, staff, we've written lots and lots of comments in exercise books, and it's kind of empirically sort of research-based that suggests that you don't really pay that much attention to remarks and comments that we write in your books. And so college-wide policy, and maybe this is news to you, whereby we're not going to really be giving you that much written feedback and we're going to give you feedback in other forms. And I'm going to do this in different ways with different year groups. So my year 13 students, I'm going to give them feedback by way of a video and they're going to use that by way of feedback. You, what we are going to do is we're going to, use, we're going to just try it out and see how it goes. So we're going to use this little crib sheet here for feedback and economics. Now, the way this will work is as follows. I'm going to set you a piece of work to do, so it won't be just the multiple choice questions. I'm going to set you a, a more kind of extended piece of work to do. I'm going to collect all your work in. I'm going to sort of fairly rapidly go through all of your work. Not really writing too many comments on it, but I'll sign it off just to have a, have a look at it. But where I will write my comments on this crib sheet. And I'll be looking for kind of the good things bits of pieces of work that's been missing. Any things that where I've, I think I've taught you something, but you've kind of totally got the wrong end of the stick. Um, so causes misconceptions. Anything about your presentation, because presentation is really, really important. Your exam paper, nice diagrams, nice handwriting, all that jazz. Dit. I'll give you maybe one or two follow-up questions to do by way of DIT. Things I want you to do. And then down below here, there's a kind of section for anything which is really outstanding that you've done, which I think we should all be made aware of and share together. That will be posted for you to I will not be writing all of that in everybody's book every time. Is that okay, Charlotte? Okay. So that's the first point. Second, I want to kind of revisit these multiple choice questions. So we've been doing these for a few weeks now. This is obviously part of your homework this week. On the multiple choice questions, what I'm going to do from next week is instead of just getting you to do the multiple choice questions and then that's it, and you can't actually see what you've done wrong and where the right answer is, what I'm going to do is I will enable its learning so that once you've finished it, you can then see the questions, your marks, and the questions that you have potentially got wrong. And then I want you, as part of your kind of ongoing work, to find out the right answer and explain why it's the right answer. Because there's not a lot of point in you just doing a load of multiple choice questions one week and you get 8 out of 10, and then you just move on to the next week's because you're not really learning anything from that. So we really need to make sure that there's some sort of purpose and kind of follow up to that. So that's going to be the follow up. Any questions on that? 
Have you made a note of that in your study files? Sean? So in your study file, the first thing that you should be writing there is that you've got these uh, the multiple choice questions to do this week. I know that some of you have done those, so thank you to those of you who have done them already. Uh, ideally, we need those done in the next, before next lesson. 11th of the 10th. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to switch you off and I'll bring you back shortly.